What's up, what's up you guys? So today in this video I'm going to be unboxing some live mealworms. I'm just going to quickly unbox it. Quickly unbox it. Quickly unbox it. Okay. The uh, packaging seems to be quite good so far. Loads of substrate everywhere. Okay. Woo! He's running. Yeah, my brother just uh, got Bruce. Right. Okay. Yes, yeah, sometimes Bruce falls. Right, it's okay. Right. So, let's see what we have here. Okay. There's lots of substrate everywhere. Um, I was a little bit. I wasn't disappointed because these things happen, but I was expecting it to come a bit faster. Okay. Here we are then. Get all the substrate out. Okay. Okay, so I'll just get all the substrate off that. Okay, so here we have it. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set up the tank real quick. Uh, this is what I'm keeping them in. I'm just going to move that out of the way. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty all this out, clean it all out. I'll make another video on, of, um, well, mate, right, what I'll do is I'll put it into this video. Just give me two secs, I'll, uh, be right back with you. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put them in now. Um, there's like this, there's lots of different ones in there, so, you're gonna, this stuff here is like oats. I'm gonna be changing to oats, but this is just like, food and stuff. Uh, I know you're meant to have, like, netting or something to catch the waste, but I don't have that. This is just temporary, so I'm going to get started, really. Uh, what you're going to do is open up your container. Oh, yeah. Also, I forgot to say. Um, whoa. Look, they're all kind of climbing out. Okay. Okay, um, so that's just my brother there. Um, you're going to need some bug gel, uh, you know, to keep them alive. That's kind of like their hydration. You shouldn't uh, actually have um, like actual. Okay, there we go. Some worms have come out now. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put these guys in there so they can get some stuff. Okay, so I'm to do that. Okay, just pour them in there. Okay, so I think it's about a hundred there. Um, if you uh, live within my area, uh, which is the UK, um, you can get these from Swell Reptiles. Um, so, there we are. That is it. I'm going to be putting some carrots in there. Um, you know, just for that, and then I also have this, some little egg carton things, and you can put those in there so they have somewhat a uh, place to hide, but you don't, this is, op this is optional, I might actually, you think I should have them in there? Yeah, I'll put them in there, wait, nah, I'll, I'll check that out, as long as there's no mealworms in there. Okay, so I'm just going to chuck them out and be right back. Okay, so that's really it to it. Um, all you have to do now is put your lid on. And then, um, I'm not planning on breeding these. It's just like a container. Well, if they do breed, then that's great. But I'm not having any plans really to breed them. But that is really it. Um, for more videos uh, daily, in fact, um, then just subscribe. And like this video for more videos uh, daily, like I said. Uh, another thing you might want to have, now, now this depends on if you like touching them or not, are these uh, feeding tongs. Um, basically, you all know how to do it really, but I'm just going to show you. Let's just open it. By the way, if you're wondering, this is a five gallon, I think. Or is it? I don't know. But it's, it's a five gallon, that's what I said. But just to... To use these, you're just going to get one and pick it up, just like this. But I don't use that. I only use these for locusts, crickets, and roaches. 
but I just pick these guys up because, and super worms I use them for because sometimes they can bite. Oh, your rear dragon. This isn't focusing. Okay, oh well. Um, but yeah, I just pick these guys up. So yeah, now I'm just gonna feed the few to Bristol. I'll be right back.